Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to this video. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Nick Chelson and I oversee all things online here at the Rock of Roseville. So today I want to show you about the new online platform that we're going to be using for our church's live streams. It's called Church Online and it has a lot of great features that are really going to help us to have better consistency in our live stream, better connect as a church community, as well as provide better care for those who are, we are ministering to online. So first things first, let's head over to the website. So you're going to want to save this website. It's rockofroseville.online.church. This is going to be the go-to website for all of our future live streams. As you can see down here in the bottom left corner, got a few seconds before our video starts. And here we go. Man, church has been good today. I don't want to mess it up. Jeez. So just to give you an example you of what we can do, we're tomorrow, gonna be watching Sean's message five. from a previous weekend. And we're gonna start down here. You can control one. the personal volume. You're finding the passage. I just want to tell you a story. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit so that way I can show you what's going on. So it was January 1st, 2021. So when you first log into church online, it's gonna ask you if you want to sign up or log in. And you don't need to have an account with church online to be able to watch. You don't even need to do any of the commenting or anything like that. It's totally up to you however you want to engage. If you just want to watch the video, you can totally just watch the video. If you want to comment as a guest, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. Or if you even want to create an account, we can do that. I can show you how to do that as well. They are, you know, one of a handful of houses that are even so the first thing, once you're on watching the video, you might want to chat and say, My car has been broken into a few times. So say I'm something like, hi, at locking the good to see everybody. I lock it all the time, but maybe my guard was down this day. Maybe because I'm in this quiet, secluded place. I, I don't know what it is. I didn't lock my door. Now, before you comment as a guest, it's going to ask you to put in a guest chat name. So I start taking stuff to the car and as I walk outside, the trunk was open and some of the groceries and as you can see back, right there, uh, trunk, it's got my comment. And I just thought that it was me. I thought I did. It's also going to give you another reminder if you want to sign up. It, one of the benefits to signing up is you can have your profile picture in there and it uh, saves you some time from putting your name in later. I'm going to turn the volume down on the video as we're continuing to look at this stuff. So as you kind of look in the top header here, starting in the right hand corner, this is going to have just a lot of our go to links, such as our website. If you want to watch previous services or sermons online, a link to our get connected form, a link to a different list of our acts to communities that you might want to join, as well as online giving. So some other cool features about this is you can look at notes so as you're watching along the video you can see all of the different service notes so as i said this is one of sean's messages from a recent service called disturbed as well as links to the previous sermon videos in this series key scriptures and stats that he talks about so you can easily go between the chat and the sermon notes as you're watching So real quick, for those who want to sign up, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So after you hit the sign up button there, you can put in what you want your name to be. As well as create a password. You can add a photo here and hit sign up. And it's just as simple as that. You can go ahead and use that login and password for later for when you sign up. Another cool feature about Church Online is that anytime during the prayer service, you can request a prayer. 
this will open a secondary chat box right here. And as you can see from right here, one of our hosts, either one of our pastors, greeters, lobby hosts, uh, they'll jump on and they'll do a one on one chat with you and where you can talk to them. And as you can see from right here, one of our staff members has jumped in to be able to pray with me. And I can type in my prayer request right here in the chat box. Another really cool feature about this is that our hosts can share different links, such as our Get Connected form right here. And that's gonna pop up in the chat. If you're new to The Rock, you can fill out the Get Connected form. And then I can click right here. And it's gonna take me to The Rock's Get Connected form. Another thing is there's different things the hosts can queue up, such as invite a friend. Then I can share this on Facebook, uh, email, or even just copy uh, and paste the link to whatever my preferred social media account is. So as you can see from this video, there's a lot of really different cool features that make Church Online a great platform, not only for our staff and our volunteers, but also for those who are using it. All right, so the last thing I want to show you is what you're going to see if there is no service going on. So if you go to rockerroseville.online.church, and just a reminder, you'll want to save that link. This is what you're going to see. You're going to see a sermon service video from the previous weekend as well as a list of upcoming services. You're still gonna have all the same info in the top corner, the website, on demand, get connected, join a community and online giving. And uh, the final thing you're gonna see is down here, request prayer. So if somebody comes to this site while a service isn't going on, they can still watch an on-demand replay of the previous weekend service. And if they'd like to get connected with us or receive prayer, they can uh, click on the request prayer button and that's going to go to our prayer at rockerroseville.com email address. So like I said, uh, the, as you can see from the different features, this has a lot more for our staff, our volunteers, and even our users. It's a great way. It's going to provide better consistency for the quality of our live stream. It's going to help us better connect as a church community, as well as provide better care for those joining us online. So when you get a chance, go to the Rocker Roseville dot online dot church and uh, check it out. Just get familiar with the platform as that's what we're going to be using for our live streams going forward. And if you have any questions or even comments, if there's something you like, if there's something you're confused about, you can feel free to email me at media at rockerroseville.com. That's M-E-D-I-A at rockerroseville.com. Thanks again for watching this video and we'll see you online.